So after using all the guns in Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies, I decided to hit you guys up with a top 5 best guns and weapons that we have in Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies. Of course, we're gonna be excluding the Tesla gun and any sort of wonder weapon. And for this one, I will have one honorable mention and I'm gonna get to it in just a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, I quickly wanna let you know that we're gonna be taking wall weapons and mystery box weapon and every single goddamn weapon that we have in Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies into account. But hey, if you if you do enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I got free gameplay as you guys can see, but hey, we're gonna be starting this video off by actually going in with an honorable mention. We're talking about Flager Foss, and guess what? This is a launcher, and I know everyone is looking at me and saying like, well, you crazy. Aim downside and tap R1 or R2, it depends on what type of controls you got. I got alternative, so I tap R1, and if you tap that, you will spam the shit out of it, and oh, my god, this is such a beast of a gun. Of course, if it was firing ammo or rounds, I would say, or bullets rather, that's the word I was looking for, I would have placed this in my top 5 list, but at the same time, if it was firing bullets, then it would be totally different, you know what I'm saying? But ladies and gentlemen, it got 9 rockets in the mag, or it doesn't have a mag, but you know what I'm saying, right? It got 9 rockets, and guess what? 67 in reserve. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 67 in reserve. And after you pack a punch it, you get 9 once again, but this time around 81 in reserve. Shit is so goddamn fired that I, I was like, hey, yo, Bob, did you know that we get a launcher? He was like, shit, dude, let me use the launcher. I let him use the Flicker Foss. And he's pimping, yo. He got to round 10 with it, and he was like, ball, and he was like, crack. And I was like, yo, Bob, that's just round 10, man. Shut your bitch. What's up, dog? But it's called the Luft Foss B, and this reminds me of Transit Bus Route B. That <laughs> not the greatest thing to be reminded of. But ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying. If you have not used this gun, you definitely wanna use this gun. But hey, now coming in at our number five spot, really quickly wanna let you know that after you open the spawn room, of course, for that you're gonna pay 750 points. Guess what? The next wall buy, of course, I'm not talking about Tab 100. No, 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 we're not talking about Tab 100. We're talking about the next, next one. We have the SVT 40. Now, check this out. This gun got 10 ammo in the mag and 120 in reserve. It's a semi auto rifle, but guess what? After you pack a punch, it becomes a good meme. Now, after you pack punch, it's gonna be called AVT 40. It got 10 ammo once again in the mag, but this time around 540 in reserve. Let that sink in. And now, let me tell you why this gun is on that number five spot. Now, first of all, it's a wall gun, so you can buy ammo off of the wall, but that's not gonna be my excuse because in World War II Zombies, you can go ahead, pack punch the gun, and you can go near whether it's a wall gun or a box gun, doesn't matter. You can buy ammo once, you can buy ammo twice, you can buy ammo every single time you want to buy ammo for any gun whatsoever this is a dragon but on steroids and hey i would i would consider this a god gun it's a semi-auto rifle but after you pack a punch it shit becomes automatic but of course it's gonna have lack of magazine but it's gonna one shot zombies for a ridiculous run this is seriously ridiculous on the boss zombies as well like you sh shoot the boss once he will go in the rage mode you shoot on his back and my man is all already dead and surprisingly this thing got 540 ammo in reserve and it's a tank of a weapon now really quickly just want to let you know this too you need to have a consumable i believe you need to have something on basically it acts like a scavenger if you know what i'm saying like scavenger from modern warfare 3 that is something that we have in world war 2 zombies and that is so so good basically it lets you have more ammo than usual so you may not have the same amount of ammo when you actually use this thing but if you don't have that perk this is what the numbers look looks like. Now, the box version or the wall buy, when it's unpacked punch, you're gonna have 10 ammo in the mag and 80 in reserve, but after you pack punch it, you're gonna have 10 once again in the mag and 360 in reserve instead of having 540, which is a huge difference, but nonetheless, this is gonna be Draken. I'm just gonna call it Draken, but ladies and gentlemen, at our number four spot, we're talking about the combat shotgun. Such a ridiculous weapon to have, and this is a wall buy. It got 8 ammo in the mag and 72 in reserve, and check this out, it's a pump action shotgun, meaning it will have more damage compared to something that would be automatic. After you pack a punch it, it's called the diplomatic solution, got 16 ammo in the mag and 96 in reserve, and it's one shot, unpack a punch, 
till round 20. That was like, damn, son, look at this mother effort, right? And hey, a lot of people would consider that shotguns are made super ridiculously overpowered in this game, but if you do not aim downside, this is not gonna be a good meme. So I feel like Sledgehammer Games did balance everything out. At the same time, they wanted to make this gun realistic, and they really did a great ass job because, of course, when you don't aim downside, your aim will be all over the place. You're gonna miss your shots, and when you aim downside, you're gonna be really precise, and that's when this gun melts zombies. And if you shoot the Brutus, or not the Brutus, but you know what I'm saying, right? The boss zombie, you shoot him once, he's gonna be like all triggered up. It'll be like, yo, Bob, I'm gonna get your ass. Bob will be panicking. Like, let me be real for a second. Bob will be panicking. He will be sweating. Um, um, and I'll be saying, yo, young Nibba, don't panic, right? Like, I, I wanna, I wanna make sure he doesn't panic, but of course he will. He doesn't listen to anyone. He will be panicking and shit. But guess what? If you have the Comet shotgun, no one needs to panic. Hey, get, yeah, you don't need to panic. You shoot the mother effer right in the chest. He will be all trigger up, ready to take your ass down. But guess what? You move aside, you come to the back, and you shoot him once again. Damn, son. Look at that mother effer disappear. But at our number three spot, we're talking about a ridiculously good meme by the name of MG42. Now, first of all, let me, let me clear this up. A lot of people say, yo, you do not know memes. I'm saying, yo, you just need a perception, and everything can turn into to a good meme. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, MG42 is a solid. Got 50 ammo in the mag and 250 in reserve. And after you pack punch it, it's called the bone saw, and this thing got 100 ammo in the mag and 400 in reserve. Now, of course, that's not too much, but you can buy ammo all the time. But the problem is, it shoots ridiculously fast, but at the same time, that's exactly what I love about this gun. And of course, a lot of people would agree with me, like, if the gun shoots uh, so fast, that's like music to my ear, right? And that is music to my ear, but the problem is, if, you, if the gun shoots faster, then you're gonna be missing a lot of your shots, thus making you losing your potential to kill more zombies and this gun really has that ridiculous firing rate but of course even if you got a super like god tier aim you won't be able to kill zombies fully and that's where this gun lacks of course this is like music to my ears this should be music to your ears too but seriously if you shoot it correctly you can melt the bosses even the flamethrower guy even zombies on a high ass round but ladies and gentlemen coming in at our number two spot i'm talking about the toggle action now check this out this is seriously a big brother of haymaker if you have played black ops 3 you know what i'm saying right but this gun got six ammo in the mag and you actually reload like you would reload a haymaker of course haymaker got like so much more ammo but this only got six ammo in the mag and 72 in reserve and i hate to use that word only because this is a real mother effort and when you pack punch it it's called lucky and it got 12 ammo in the mag and 108 in reserve of course ammo is a little bit too short on this thing because the damage is ridiculous ridiculously overpowered this gun is an overpowered piece of shit and like i said you can purchase ammo anytime you want to so you have that plus it's a mother effort and hey next up if you have infinite ammo then it's game over now of course combat shotgun has a little bit of an upper hand on the toggle action in terms of damage but combat shotgun is a pump shotgun and even if you use the infinite ammo you'll be like pumping that shit out even if you got speed cola and everything like that right but toggle action when it's pack punch when you got double tap when you got speed cola of course if you're using infinite ammo then you wouldn't really necessarily need or you wouldn't necessarily find the need of having speed cola but of course in your normal use speed cola would be a beautiful ass meme but guess what when you have infinite ammo this gun will melt zombies you can kill the bosses like they were absolutely nothing this is a solid ass gun i absolutely love this gun this is just like mm. and on top if you pair this with stamina up you're going to be a super soldier but hey at our number one spot i got you guys a banger now without a doubt mg15 that's exactly what i'm saying mg15 it got 50 ammo in the mag 450 in reserve and this reminds me of that smg where you can actually stack ammo on top of ammo on top of ammo on top of ammo this is seriously so so good i just wish that toggle action had more ammo and it was like a little bit different of course toggle action would be something that i would place in its own category but mg15 got ridiculous amount of ammo of course once you pack punch you would 
would get 75 ammo in the mag and 675 in reserve. And let me tell you, all these guns that I mentioned, like where I mentioned their ammo count, of course, all of them are without me having extended mags on. So guess what? If you put extended mags on, I'm assuming you would have way more ammo, right? And it's called the prop shredder. And this thing shred zombies like there is no tomorrow. Of course, it's good on the flamethrower guy. Of course, it's good on the zombie bosses. This is an all-round weapon. Of course, if you pair this with double tap, you got pack punch, you got stamina up, you got speed cola, you would have no problems whatsoever. And what I find that is ridiculously good about this gun is the fact that whenever you shoot this gun, it wouldn't really slow you down compared to how much MG42 would slow you down because of course MG42 has a ridiculous rate of fire. Now MG15 doesn't have that ridiculous amount of firing rate, but whenever you use this thing, it has such a great iron side and you can easily aim down side and hey, you wouldn't really necessarily lose ammo as well because of course the rate of fire would be very very slow and that slow rate of fire means that MG15 has a lot high damage. Of course that's how video games works and of course I have used this thing so I know about it, right? So it has ridiculously high damage and hey, if you get the MG15 and you pair this with toggle action that would be in your secondary, you are going to melt zombies. But check out some other videos on the screen, subscribe if you're new to the channel and hey, if you did enjoy this video, smash a like and I'll see you very freaking soon.